So um, now in this case, guys, we can see that we have the product right, of two cube roots, because the index is 3, not 2 anymore. We have 50x squared z to the fifth, 15y uh, cubed z. Again, let's follow operations. Let's simplify first. Before we do any, before we do any multiplication, let's go ahead and simplify. So again, we want to see if we can rewrite any of these terms to the third power. Can I break up 50? 50 is not a cube number. So I go and look at all my other cube numbers. Is there any cube number that evenly divides into 50? No. All right, x squared. I can't write x squared. I can't write a variable raised to a power of 3 that equals x squared, right? So that's, that's not going to work. However, I can rewrite z as z cubed times z squared. Would everybody agree with me at that? Yes? That makes sense? Yes? OK. Then I move to the next one. Here, um, I'm going to simplify everything. 15 I can't do anything with. y is already to the third power. And then I have z. So I'm, I'm just rewriting it. It's a little bit extra step. You could simplify it here both, though. So does everybody remember the identity element? Nth root. Can I see this? There I am. So the nth root of a to the n equals a. Correct? So the cube root of z cubed is going to equal z. z. So I have z times the cube root of 50 x squared z squared. Does everybody see how that's left over? Does that kind of make some sense? Yes. Over here, yeah. I said this one. The cube root of z cubed is just yes. z. The cube root of y cubed is y. y. So I have times y cube root 15 z. I got there, but I thought you were the next step, so I got confused. OK, so now the next step is apply the operation. So again, what is our operation? We're multiplying these two, right? So whatever's outside the radical, we can multiply. And since they have the same index, whatever's inside the radical, we can multiply. So z times y, you know, that's just a variable times a variable, so that's zy. Um, cube root 50 times, right? You, what can you, 50 can only be multiplied by 15, right? I mean, What I'm trying to say is 50, the only thing you can multiply is by 15, which would be 500, 550 makes sense. Right. Then x squared, I don't have anything to multiply x squared by, do I? So that becomes x squared. And then I have um, z, z squared times z, which is z cubed. OK, so now the last thing again is I want to be able to determine, is somebody's calculator? Who's calculator this? So now I want to determine is, you know, can I take the cube root of 750? No, I cannot. So I want to start looking at, you know, cube numbers. Um, do any of those cube numbers, 750, do they divide into there? Well, 8 doesn't. Huh? Nope. So I'm checking all these cube numbers. Um, I just want to make sure I can't divide any of them. None of them evenly divide into. Oh, 125. Yeah. Why didn't I not write that in there? Was I not just saying? I said that. Okay, very good. So therefore, I can also I can take the cube root of z cubed, right? Yeah. Yes? No? Yes. Well, let's do this at the end. So I do 7y cube root z. 150. I can do this as 150, or sorry, 125 times 6 times x squared z cubed. I can rewrite 125 as 5 cubed. I'm just writing a lot of extra steps, just again to take this slow. 5 cubed times 6 x squared z cubed. The reason why I wanted, I just did an extra step, because remember, guys, the cube root of 5 cubed is 5. How? Oh. The cube root, 
of, um, I can't take the cube root of 6, can't take the cube root of x squared. The cube root of z cubed is? C. Wait, is it 6 times x squared? Yep. <coughs> so then I have two z's here, right? So my final answer would be 5 z squared y, I'll be moving, cube root of 6x squared. Not really. I, sh I just showed a lot of steps. Once you guys get practice with this, you'll, yeah, you can cut out. I mean, a lot of this extra steps I did. I'm just trying to show it step by step for you guys, just to make sure that 